All right, we are back with yet another episode of the most quotable films of all time. And this one, uh, we just went with the letter V. This one seems like an obvious pick, V for Vendetta. So uh, I had never seen it. You're a big fan of it. I thought it was all right. And uh, definitely quotable, though, for sure. Yes, uh, probably, I would say, 80% of the lines in the movie is quotable. Yeah, and I would say 80% of, well, actually, I think 100% of the ones I picked were all from V. So, <laughs> <laughs> although some other characters had some good lines, but uh, but yeah, I think I, I did okay. So uh, who started last time? I don't remember. I don't remember either. All right. I think you did. So I'll start us off. Okay. With, uh, v is my number five is the past can't hurt you anymore. Not unless you let it. I don't remember okay. when he said that exactly, but yeah. <laughs> My number five is, since mankind is gone, a handful of oppressors have accepted the responsibility over our lives that we should have accepted for ourselves. By doing so, they took our power. By doing nothing, we gave it away. We've seen where their way leads <clears throat> through camps and wars towards the slaughterhouse. And that was said by V. Of course, yes. Okay, that's a good one. Yep, that was an uh, honorable mention for me. Uh, so my number four, I'm, I'm guessing we'll probably have one or two in common, but um, also V. Yes, I created a lie, but because you believed it, you found something true about yourself. <laughs> Yeah, that was after uh, he tortured uh, Evie. Yeah, which uh, I got to say, although V can be perceived as a hero, I think uh, in some ways he's a bit villainous as well. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, that whole thing of him imprisoning her and torturing her, although it did get her to, uh, as he said, like not be fearful anymore. Like right. I, I know what his point was, but it's a bit like the uh the movie Whiplash, like that guy who's you know trying oh, yeah, to with the create drummer. the best drummer by yeah. being uh yeah, yeah. Like, terrible at yeah. the same time. Well the whole point was that that little inch of ourselves that's left that yeah. nobody can take away from us, or you shouldn't let anybody take away from you. Right. And, uh, he, she took away her fear when she said that she, you know, was going to be shot at the firing squad. And yeah. then at that point, she was free. Right. Yeah. So was this on your list? Uh, no, I don't think okay. so. <laughs> All right. So what's your number four? Because while the truncheon may be used in lieu of conversation, words will always retain their power. Words are for the means to meaning, and for those who will listen, the enunciation of truth. And the truth is, there is something terribly wrong with this country, isn't there? You designed it, sir. You wanted it foolproof. You taught me every television in London. Cruelty and injustice, intolerance and oppression. And where once you had the freedom to object, to think and speak as you saw fit, you now have sensors and systems of surveillance coercing your conformity and selecting cameras. your submission. We need cameras. How did this happen? Who's to blame? Well, certainly there are those who are more responsible than others, and they will be held accountable. But again, truth be told, if you're looking for the guilty, you need only look into a mirror. I know why you did it. I know you were afraid. Who wouldn't be? War, terror, disease. There were a myriad of problems which conspired to corrupt your reason and rob you of your common sense. Long one, but good. Yeah, that was the one that uh, when he took over the uh, the control where they were you know, yeah. spouting, the government was spouting their lives and stuff. That yeah. was a speech that he made to the public. 
Yes, right. Very good. Okay, so uh, let's see. My number three, again, is V, of course. <laughs> people should not be afraid of their governments. Governments should be afraid of their people. Yeah, I found out. That was higher. Okay. Very good. Uh, so what's your three? Uh, our masters have not heard the people's voice for generations, and it is much, much louder than they can remember. Okay. Man, we uh, we may only have one in common. We'll see. Uh, all right, so my number two is... Beneath this mask, there is more than flesh. Beneath this mask, there is an idea, Mr. Creedy. And ideas are bulletproof. Didn't make your list? No, it didn't make my list. Okay. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder, treason, and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. That was your number two? Yeah, it's my number two. Okay, that was my one. Although I just kept it as remember, remember the 5th of November. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I figured that sounded like uh, some J.R.R. Tolkien kind of uh, <laughs> rhyme there. So I, I knew you'd have that for sure. No, this is <clears throat> this is an annual holiday in Great Britain. Yeah, yeah, I know. The fifth of November, right? The the uh, gun powder, the gun powder thing, and yes. they celebrate it. Right, fireworks, the whole the whole thing. Yep. Just so happens uh, we have a thing on 5th of November coming up as well. I know. <laughs> so, a timely episode, I, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, hopefully not too much violence will abound. Um, so what's so your number one was the uh, Is people shouldn't be two? afraid. So our number one and two are the same. Okay. So it's just a matter of, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, oh, well, my one was remember and your two and my three was people shouldn't be afraid. So so will that and that way we'll put remember as one and people shouldn't be afraid as two. Um, so then my two was behind the mask the ideas and then it's uh your three was our masters something <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> so it's between our fours at five either yes i created a lie which was mine or the uh your long speech. one i think it should be the speech all right all right fine Okay. <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad we got this one out of the way i didn't i didn't dislike the movie necessarily but it wasn't exactly my cup of tea but uh but natalie portman was good although i don't i don't understand why they didn't get like a british accent uh, actress to do the role even though her accent wasn't bad or anything but like they could have got kyra knightley or somebody um but yeah, anyway. Um, I don't know. Maybe they needed somebody that was like current at that time. Right. Because, yeah, this came out in like 2005, right? Yeah. Which I can't believe it's been this long and I hadn't seen it. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, not a, not a bad movie. So is this really like one of your favorites, though? Hmm? Is this uh, really like one of your favorites? Yeah, or? it's one of my favorites. Okay. Um, and do you see V as as a hero or a villain or both? I it's both. Yeah. Because, I mean, it is interesting that um, he's essentially an anarchist, like, uh, but to fight fascists, I guess you kind of have to be to some extent. So... Yeah. yeah, I mean, what he did was he just got rid of 
the uh, top government, and then he took revenge on all the people that hurt him. Right. And then now he got, then he gets rid of parliament, and now it's up to the people to elect a new government. So, yeah, but I, where, I guess it's a hopeful ending, but then again, it probably will devolve into some other terrible government because people always screw things up, <laughs> especially the, government. The thing I wise. found interesting was that there was yeah. a war going on in the United States. Oh, right. Yeah. And that's like yeah. a leper colony over there or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so there was an actual war, a revolution or something going on in the United States while he was doing this stuff in Great yeah. Britain. Right. Yeah, very interesting. Um, and could you could see some parallels of certain things and, uh, you know, definitely some things to be concerned about. But uh, I, honorable mentions, the only one I, I had other than the ones you said was uh love your rage not your cage oh we you were gonna do more uh let me see uh, knowledge like air is vital to life like air no one should be denied it yeah that was a good one Uh, my mother said I broke her heart, but it was m my integrity that was important. Is that so selfish? It sells for so little, but it's all we have left in this place. It is very last inch of us, but within that inch, we are free. Very good. Happiness is the most insidious prison of all. Yeah, that was an interesting line. <laughs> <laughs> I can go either way on that one. But um, And then you said, I shall die here. Every last inch of me shall perish, except one, an inch. It's small and it's fragile. And it's the only thing in the world worth having. We must never lose it or sell it or give it away. We must never let them take it from us. Yeah. All right. I know you can go on and on with your V quotes. Love your rage, <laughs> not your cage. <laughs> yes, yes. That was my honorable. Very good. All right. Well, now, without further ado, here are the top five V for Vendetta, all V quotes according to three and four right now. Because while the truncheon may be used in lieu of conversation, words will always retain their power. Words are for the means to meaning and for those who will listen, the enunciation of truth. And the truth is, there is something terribly wrong with this country, isn't there? You designed it, sir. You wanted it foolproof. You told me every television in London. Cruelty and injustice, intolerance and oppression. And where once you had the freedom to object, to think and speak as you saw fit, you now have censors and systems of surveillance coercing your conformity and selecting your submission. We need cameras. How did this happen? Who's to blame? Well, certainly there are those who are more responsible than others, and they will be held accountable. But again, truth be told, if you're looking for the guilty, you need only look into a mirror. I know why you did it. I know you were afraid. Who wouldn't be? War, terror, disease. There were a myriad of problems which conspired to corrupt your reason and rob you of your common sense. Beneath this mask, there is more than flesh. Beneath this mask, there is an idea, Mr. Creedy. And ideas are bulletproof. People should not be afraid of their governments. Governments should be afraid of their people. Remember, remember the 5th of November. The gunpowder, treason, and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot.
Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now the letter W, uh, definitely some more options here. So my uh, four from the top down are the Wolf of Wall Street, Wall Street, the Weatherman, and Whiplash. <laughs> what do you have? I didn't think there was that many quotes of Whiplash. It was just the intensity of it. Oh, there's plenty of quotes from uh, uh, the the professor. Uh, yeah, that's true. So, yeah. All right, mine is uh, War Games. Okay. While You Were Sleeping. The Whole Nine Yards. Uh-huh. And Who's Harry Crumb? <laughs> wow, you're on a John Candy kick over here. <laughs> I don't even remember anything from that movie. Um, but knowing he was in it, I'm sure there was some quotes. Okay, so we had none in common whatsoever. So we just take our top twos. So we got War Games, Wolf of Wall Street, While You Were Sleeping, and Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> Which we all know the big quote from that one. Greed is good. Good, yes. So we'll see what wins. Uh, you can put it your answer in the comments below or vote on the sister channel, Johnny Radio's poll, and we'll do it on the next one. And uh, remember, remember to vote on November 5th. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Love you. Love you too. All right, bye.